So this topic is going to touch on love. <laughs> you know how like people say they want to fall in love or um, they are crazy in love. Dude, who wants that? <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want to be crazy in love and I don't want to fall into it. I want to rise. I want to rise in love. And I also want healthy love. <laughs> I want healthy connections. You know what I'm saying? I don't want distorted half beep love you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah it's so funny um i probably made a video on this before but oh my god if you listen to like a lot of music or even a lot of them um, i want to say like romantic movies oh my god, they totally normalize like some really dysfunctional distorted love you know what i'm saying that's what like disney cartoons you know like when I was younger I was exposed to you know like Snow White and Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty and I as a child you know you're in that phase of life where you're just kind of like on record so you're like recording and collecting data so you, you kind of create a framework of how you're supposed to function in the world and like for me I'm like oh my god like that's what I'm supposed to do I'm supposed to yeah dude I subscribe to that seriously and I'm like, oh, I'm just supposed to find this one person and we're supposed to live happily ever after. They don't really like show, they should, they should make like a sequel to those, um, <laughs> to those cartoons <laughs> and showcase what it looks like after, like, they all get married and what, <laughs> what, um, obstacles they need to work through in order to make a relationship last you know I mean there there's a lot of compromise involved you know there's a lot of work you know you have to constantly choose to be in the relationship with someone every day you have to choose that person you know because man I mean if you didn't choose that person every day you'd be choosing someone else the next day and the next day choosing someone else you know and there's no like I don't know I don't, I don't think there's any right or wrong, honestly, because those people probably lack um, knowledge and wisdom when it comes to relating. So that's why they're constantly like hopping around, you know, for me, though, I feel like you can learn so much because your relationships mirror you, you know, and like, I feel like a lot of, I want to say, How do I say this? I feel like you can get the most rewarding growth out of like, just like a few relationships. Because if you have a few relationships, those people don't just see you at a surface level. You give, you invest enough time into like these people so that they can see the different layers of you and they can also like show you those layers you know by triggering you or like by like I don't know words of affirmation or just having like an honest conversation when a dispute arises you know it's like it's the most rewarding way to know yourself is through another person but I feel like when you just like hop on like from person to person on surface levels, like you don't really learn anything, you know? It's just, I feel like those people are learning to relate, honestly. It's like they're into like, I don't know, self gratification or like um, instant gratification. And then when it gets hard, they just jump. So how are you gonna learn? How are you gonna grow if you jump when it's hard? Yeah, you gotta stick through the hard stuff. And then like you get to grow into knowing yourself through another person through the relationship, you know? And like, for me, it's gotten to a point where it's just like, I don't even really, yeah, yeah, okay, sure, you know? But I feel like my relationships with others have ultimately led me back to the relationship with myself, you know? And then I started to recognize like where I was sabotaging myself 
where I was gaslighting myself, where I or my shortcomings and blind spots were and my weaknesses and how to course correct. You know what I'm saying? And then once you like establish that relationship with yourself, the ultimate relationship, it's just like when you go out in the world, you know what your deal breakers are and you become like honestly so confident and respectful and considerate of yourself that you don't let anyone else treat you less than you know what I mean it's like if you give yourself the bare minimum then you will accept the bare minimum you know but if you realize that you are important and you are deserving and worthy of healthy relationships when you go out in the world that's all you will not accept anything less than you know what i'm saying so it starts with you but the relationships ultimately like bring you back to you but i feel like if it's like i said a surface relationship it's like well how deep can you go into knowing yourself you know and that's why i feel like one-on-one -on -one or like long-standing relationships even if it's just that one person will help you to establish that relationship within yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then when you become your own best friend, then you don't really depend on anyone to make you happy. You don't depend on anyone to like regulate your emotions. You don't depend on anyone to like, I don't know, bring you peace Be because you bring that to yourself. You know, you become that overflowing resource of those things for yourself. So you don't expect it from anyone else and you don't depend on anyone else to give you those things. And let me tell you, when you get to that point, it's just like you will not accept less than from anyone else. It's like if you can generate your own peace, if you're interacting with other people and they're not adding to that peace, it's just like, man, I like straight up just, I know right away and I will dismiss myself. <laughs> like you don't need to dismiss me. I will dismiss myself from this situation because you are not bringing me peace, you know? Anyways, um, if you learned something cool, if you didn't, that's cool too. Blessings to one and all. Amen.